Okay, I am, uh, as you can see, I am at an LTV rally in, uh, this is the Florida Flamingos, and there's nothing but leisures as far as the eye can see. But me, I'm up here on a Unity uh, installing a soft start RV on the Dometic Penguin 2. So the first thing we do is we remove the four screws that look like this. There's two in the back and two in the front. So I'm going to take those off and lift the cover off and then we'll get started. Okay, I've got the cover off, and now I'm going to take the cover off this. There's a little nut, um, basically a, a nut a screw, nut, nut, a six-sided uh, screw head. So I'm going to take this off so we can get this cover opened up. Oh, there's another one to break all this open so you can get that up. Get this off. Okay, and so then it just uh, well, Lift this up, lift this up and over. I just lay it over like this. Um, okay, so now we are going to be bringing the soft start. Uh, I'm just gonna lay this down here. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna be bringing the soft start wire from this side through this little hole down here, across here, and through this little grommet. So, um, let's go ahead and remove this. Just take a pair of needle nose pliers and wiggle it. Anyway, I'm gonna need two hands, but I'm gonna pull this grommet out of here. Okay, so I've got this pulled down. And you just want to take this off. And you won't be reusing that again. Okay, so now, as I said, we're going to be running the soft start wire. Um, here we have the soft start RV. And we're going to be uh, mounting it maybe over in that corner. I'll have to... Um, get up but bottom line we're going to be putting this over on this side and we're going to be running this cord down through this hole across here and then out this hole so we can start to make our wiring connections okay so typically uh, i like to install the soft start in this corner but i have to see I have room. Okay, so I do have room. Um, so I will put it facing down like this. As I said, I'm going to be running the cord through here and then across and over to there. So uh, have, I've changed out the two-sided tape that comes on the soft start because uh, it's not very good. It's not very sticky. And I went with um, 59, 52 VHB tape because it's much more adhesive to different materials and here we have styrofoam and plastic so i'm going to clean this area uh, and stick the soft start there and this is just putty so i'm just going to open open this putty up so i can push the wires through there and get on with that okay so, I stuck the soft start in its place, push it good. Uh, if, there's, if this is touching, you want to just bend it 
slightly. This is just a copper tubing, so if you just bend it slowly, you can pull it away so you don't want any rattling. Uh, I actually uh, don't like how these wires are potentially laying across these metal bars, so I put some VHB tape there to protect them. And then uh, we have that uh, going through the hole. And now I'm just going to push, basically push the putty back in place. Okay. All right. So uh, that's done. And now on this side, I just want to push push the putty back around all these uh, wires here. Make sure that's nice and sealed. Okay, so now I'm going to run this around and around over here and through this hole. But I want to put some zip ties uh, on there. So I'll do that and come back. Okay. So I zip tied this here and I've pulled these through. Now uh, there's a little grommet that comes in the package. Uh, and it's going to go right here, which of course I'll need two hands for. And then we are going to start, they also give you connectors, so then we're going to start putting the proper connector on each one of these wires. We're going to do one wire at a time um, so I can show you everything that you need to do. Okay, so uh, one of the first things we want to do, and I'm going to turn on the flashlight, maybe you can see a little bit better, but down there that capacitor is laying on its side is the start capacitor and we want to we want to disconnect that. So we're going to start by disconnecting this red wire over here. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect all the wires. Uh, we're going to disconnect the red wire and the white wire that runs from the from that black start capacitor to this um, dual run capacitor. And then if there's one extra wire left after we're done, then we're going to move it to the compressor terminal, um, which I believe is this one where all the wire, wires are. So uh, let's get started and uh, see what we find. First, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to take, take, disconnect the red wire off of there, and then I'm going to disconnect the white wire. It'll be hooked there, and then it'll be hooked up here. Uh, and then I'll see if we have any wires left to move. Okay, and then I disconnected the wire that went from there up to the C terminal up here. Uh, so now this is completely disconnected. So now we have one more wire, the white wire, on the black uh, start capacitor. So I'm going to pull that next and trace it up to here and pull it from up here. Okay, so I pulled this white wire uh, and now I'm going to trace it up to here and it's actually right there. So let me pull that up and show you. Okay, so now that I pull it, you can see which one it is. So I just need to pull that off of its terminal. Okay, so this is free. And again, you can just throw it down here, abandon it in place. We don't need that anymore. So now you can see we've got all the wires disconnected from the start terminal. And if we would, as I said, if we would have had an extra wire, then we would have came up and plugged it uh, right up here on the C terminal. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a C uh, down there. But anyway, so it's the terminal that has the most wires plugged into it. 
Okay, so now I will put, I'll crimp the right female and male spade connector on these, and then I'll come back and we'll finish up all the, all, all this. Okay, so I've got those two together. All right, so then the next wire I'm going to be dealing with is the blue wire. So let me get on with putting the connectors on those wires, and I'll come right back. Okay, so now we are going to find the thickest white wire in this bundle on the C terminal, and that's this wire right here. Oh, but I want to verify, because the wire we really want is we want this white wire because we need the wire that is going to the top of the compressor. So this white wire runs down here, runs through there, and it comes up here and connects to the top of the compressor. So the, the white wire we really want is this one. So I need to follow it. I need to follow it and verify which one it is. So it's this one right here. And I'm guessing I am going to guess it is I'm guessing it's this wire guessing it's this wire right here which goes around here and is actually this wire right here so I'm gonna need two hands to verify that so let me come back okay so sure enough the white wire that I really want to deal with the compressor wire is right here so now we need to pull this one off Pry it off and pull it out. Okay, so this is the wire right here, uh, and and you can see it's running there, runs through there, and it's the white wire that's on this side and runs over to the compressor. That's the white wire we want. Okay, so that white wire. All right, so now we're going to connect this male end to this white wire. So the blue soft start wire goes to the white wire that we just took off of the C terminal and runs back to your compressor. So let me do that and come back. Okay, so now those two are hooked together. Okay, so then now I take the black wire and I plug it in to that vacant terminal that we just unplugged the white wire from. And this is a female. So I'm gonna put it right, right down here. Okay, so that's plugged together. All right, so now our last but not least wire is the yellow wire and it has a female on it and it's supposed to be plugged in to the Herm terminal. Which is, it's hard to see but that says Herm right there. So it's this terminal. This is the, the C terminal and the Her Herm terminal is right next to it. So now I need, see that one lonely connector back there? Now I need to hook the yellow soft start wire to that one connector. It's a little tight. I'm going to need two hands. Okay, so we are uh, going to now turn on the 
uh, air conditioner and wait for our little lights to give us a green light, which means we installed it correctly. Uh, and then and the fan kicks on. cover back on the four screws and we're we're finished so I'm calling this done.